All right, the iPhone 14 scheduled to be released in September 2022, although it hasn't been released yet but you know, leaks have began to go around, folks have started to sniff around as well as some info have began to go around. So what exactly should we be expecting from this incoming flagship? Well that's why you are here, what's up tech folks, welcome to Bolt's Tech Talk, let there be tech. Okay so the iPhone 14 is most likely to have a pill cut out, with a dot for the selfie camera lens by the right hand side of it, as seen from the photo leaked on Weibo. For your information, a lot of rumors were being speculated about the iPhone 13 before its release of which Weibo ended up with the most legit prediction, the speculations were 100% accurate and they turned out to be true. Ok now another speculated rumor says that there will be an iPhone 14 Max in place of the mini we usually used to have earlier. As well as the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max physical designs aren't going to be so much different from the previous iPhone 13 variants. Another rumor has it that, the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro, are both going to be 6.1 inch in display, while the iPhone 14 Max and 14 Pro Max are both going to be 6.7 inch in display respectively, as well as the iPhone 14 and 14 Max are going to include the A15 microchip, while the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max are going to be equipped with the latest A16 Bionic chip. The speculated prices for all the 128GB storage variants are $799, for the regular iPhone 14, $899, for the iPhone 14 Max, $999, for the iPhone 14 Pro and $1099, for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, seriously what's wrong with Apple rounding it all up with a single dollar? However the prices for the 512GB storage variants are $1,099, for the iPhone 14, $1,199 for the iPhone 14 Max, $1,299 for the iPhone 14 Pro and lastly $1,399 for the, yeah you guessed it, iPhone 14 Pro Max. With all these speculations being stated, we definitely should know what and where we could lay our expectations on. However Apple could decide to make some modifications before hosting the Apple event, although there's been some derogatory remarks from those who are disappointed about how the iPhone 14 turned out, that's all for the video, what's up tech folks and I will catch you in the next one, peace.